Chapter Seven: Dying. Beauty quickly put the ring on her bedside table. A cloud of swirling smoke surrounded her. The next instant, she vanished. Beauty was back in the garden, but the beast was lying under the rose bush, just as his dream, just as in her dream. Oh no! Beast whispered, "Beauty," kneeling down beside him. The beast struggled to open his eyes. "Is that you, Beauty?" he asked. "I'm dying." "No!" cried Beauty, horrified. "Why? What happened?" She stroked his velvety face and kissed him. "You can't die, please, Beast. I love you. Don't die." There was a blinding flash and a deafening bang. The beast disappeared. A second later, there was another brighter flash and an even louder bang. Kneeling before her was a handsome prince. "You were in my dream and in a painting!" cried Beauty. "Who are you? What happened to my beast?" she asked. Her mind was spinning. The prince smiled. "I am your beast." Many years ago, he explained, an angry fairy turned me into a beast because I refused to marry her. Only the love of a beautiful girl could make me human again. But why were you dying? asked Beauty. The fairy said, "If I loved a girl who didn't love me, I would die of a broken heart." The prince replied, "You don't need to be afraid," said Beauty. I do love you. Beauty and the prince were married the next day in a church filled with roses. Beauty's sister left early in bad tempers. Why does she get to marry a prince? It's not fair. Life isn't fair," said a tiny voice. It was a fairy who had cursed the prince. "Your sister broke my spell," she said. But at least I can give you exactly what you deserve. What? Yelped the sisters. As you have hearts of stone, the fairy declared, waving her wand. That's what you'll be forever. Then, feeling much better, she flew off to steal some wedding cake. The end.